Most older Americans remember when the 1980 U.S. hockey team defeated the Russians. It was like an epic moment for our nation. In the political climate of the day, it was more than just a hockey game, but not to the guys on the team. The guys on the team had just endured months of rigorous training. Their coach was a guy named Herb Brooks. He was the architect of their success, but his ways were demanding. He was cold and calculated. He was thoughtful, brilliant, militant in his approach. And one night after an exhibition game in which his team had tied the match four to four, he made them skate sprints on the ice after the game. Now at first, lingering fans thought they were putting on a skating exhibition. And then they realized that coach was mad. And then they got bored and left. And then the workers at the stadium had to go home. So they turned the lights out. The coach skated them until the lesson was learned. I once heard a pastor preach on that moment. His point being that when we get the lesson we're meant to get, the pain can stop. The idea is that oftentimes our most painful moments bring about our most remarkable growth. So don't give up in the pain, keep going because a prize is coming. For the Americans, the prize was a gold medal. They didn't care about the politics. They had endured great pain for the sake of winning a game. They earned their prize. They endured to the end. And you and I, we can do the same. This is why James, the half-brother of Jesus, wrote these words. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Blessed? What? Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial? How? I mean, why? I mean, trials are awful. Pain's miserable. It does not feel like a blessing. But in the world that God created, trials bring growth when we endure. If you're struggling, if you're in pain, it means you're in the process of getting better. So don't turn your back on God because life got hard. Lean into Him. Call out to Him. Love Him in the pain. He knows what He's doing and He's leading you and me through difficult challenges as He grows us into champions in this life and the life to come. Don't give up. Hang on to Jesus. Know He's with you in the pain. He's feeling it too. And one day, He'll transform it into something so, so, so much better than anything you could ever imagine.